not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. Mm, nice. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 to... units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. You are Groot. <laughs> Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> nice. I am uh, watching you, Rodent. What's that chapter, supposed to mean? It is common Trina. knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, nice. and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS quarantine zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Open this door. I know you are in there, sentient tree. <laughs> do not think that I do not know what you are up to. You're wrong. So are you? You cannot hide behind this door forever. Drax, let it go. Nobody's stashing units. We shall see. Thanks for telling him. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Uh, can you upgrade me? Pretty please? Let's make this quick. What do you want, Quill? Pronto, põe o chumbo. Done in record time. So, about my raise. Scanning an enemy provides clues to how to do. Oh, very nice. It's time slow down while you are scanning an enemy. Nice, very nice. All set. Anything else? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar with the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. 
You better. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ito yung kwarto ni Star-Lord. Sino to? Nice. Hey, Gamora. Oh. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. <laughs> also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. I will ask you one last time. Open this door. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Groot has the right to some privacy. Ah, now is not the time for pointless civility. Oh, Groot. Groot, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? Groot. Is that my toothbrush? <laughs> Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> Any units I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good, because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, <laughs> it's an earth thing. What I mean is you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor. Our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. All right. Ayan. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta be so paranoid, big guy? You didn't mind trusting me on Hanji. Trust you repaid by attempting to rob our employer. I told hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Who's Bluebird? Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird, and I was the kid. Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Pirates, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. The Ravagers had a simple code, steal from everyone. Yondu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... you know. They hit just as many resistance ships, until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yondu ended up on Shatari Prime, with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. 
You must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, never the schemer. It's something we had in common. I've been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. Or a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. <laughs> well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And we consider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always holding out on us. My squirrel. figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. And you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the mock I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains. Yeah. Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only <laughs> problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Tell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? 
Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we uh, we get it. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Nice. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Poor mom. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. <laughs> yep, no problem. Flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> You can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. 